can't believe I forgot to put my microphone on. Hi again, folks. It's Barry with Barry's 8-Tracking Classic Car Radio Repair. And tonight's uh, demonstration is going to be on a unit sent in by David from Charleston, South Carolina. This is uh, from a 1970 Mercury Cougar. It's an AM 8-Track, uh, which has been converted to an AM FM 8-Track. Uh, this customer has requested that we reuse his original connector so that it just uh, plugs right back into the car without any having to do any rewiring and uh, with that arrangement uh, that's fine except that you don't get the uh, the massive power output that conversion is capable of uh, when we uh, convert it or when we uh, wire it to your original connectors on a Ford unit or Mercury uh, the output will be roughly what it was before and you just have the addition of the FM and this customer has requested the uh, the USB feature also so we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on and make sure everything works I do have it set to FM at the moment so let's just go ahead and turn it on I'll go ahead and light up the dial so we can see what we're doing a little better here. I'm going to light up that dial. Okay, we're just going to go go across the FM band. See how many stations we can pick up. Writer, journalist, critic, and Okay, that's about 10 so far. To drive the length of the ice and score. You've been waiting all year to get a great deal. Depending on the health of John's wife and all that built. Okay, got pretty clear skies tonight because we had about 30 FM stations that we picked up, and it is um, it's uh, it's dark outside, so the AM stations are off the air, but we should still get one around 1400 or so. So we'll just switch it to AM real quick, and we do that on this type of unit by turning it off and then right back on within about half a second, so off on. Okay, and now you're hearing the familiar ear interference of AM, and we'll see if we can pick up something around the 1400 area. Okay, and there's our station at 1400. Pretty much right at the 1400 mark. And I know we're not gonna get anything else on the AM band this time of night, so we won't bother with it. Okay, so we'll go back to FM, and we're going to test the uh, balance control. And since this is, uh, since the customer has requested uh, his original connector be used, uh, it's just a two-speaker system. So we're just going to—we don't need to bring the meters in for that. We'll just kick the balance to the right, to the left, back to the right, left. Okay, and then back to center. Okay, now let's go ahead and test the uh, the USB receptacle before we uh, do the A-track. I've got my radio commercial on a little USB stick in here, so we're just going to plug it into the receptacle and make sure that it uh, comes on and starts playing. Okay, and there's the music on the USB, and you can see it. You can see the USB stick flashing, indicating that it's transferring data. Okay, so we'll unplug our USB and the radio should come right back on. There's our radio back. Okay, now we'll test the A track. And as usual, I've got the uh, the Temptations. This uh, tape will probably be, need to be replaced soon, but it's probably good for a few more tests. Let's just plug some Temptations here. I'm gonna switch tracks a bunch of times. On 
this type of unit, uh, we switch tracks by pressing in on the line control. Let's crank it up between songs, make sure we got no crosstalk. Okay, I've, I've done a good job adjusting the head as you can see. Okay, switch tracks a few more times. So we can see the A-tracks working properly. Pull the tape out, radio should come right back. And there's our radio. And uh, that concludes the test. Uh, this customer did not request a line input. I guess he's wanting to keep it as original as possible. So there's there's no auxiliary input to test. Uh, we've tested the dial lamp functions, uh, both the AM and FM functions. We made sure that the balance control works going from left to right. And uh, volume control works, obviously. The A-track switch tracks properly. So that concludes the test. Everything's cool. And she's ready to go back to the customer. And I'm ready to go back to the uh, bench to get to the next unit. This is Barry with Barry's A-track and classic car radio repair. If you have a, an 8-track player, either for home or for car use in need of service, you can reach me directly at 928-533-9666. Needless to say, I also do FM conversions on classic car AM radios that are uh, with or without an 8-track, and you can contact me for those reasons also. Um, my website is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and listening. We'll see you next time.